Hey gang, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. And today's lesson's about start where you stand. Again, start where you stand. Let me give you a quick example. I just recently launched my website. You know, I had three businesses to, to run. I had multiple websites. I, for a while, decided to go homeless. I turned everything off. Didn't want to deal with anything. So I, I even turned off my own website. I didn't want to do any transactions. I just wanted to work totally for free. And now I got my website back on. I just launched it. And there's tons of spelling errors on it. Absolutely. Because as you guys know, my spelling and my reading are probably at an 8th grade, ninth grade level. But my, I sent that information to my, to my sister, my website. She reviewed it. She said, hey, Hans, hey, love, you have all these spelling errors on it. And this grammatical errors left and right. Um, and I said, I said, love, you're 100% right. I have tons of errors on it, but I've already made multiple sales in less than 24 hours since my website went live. So the point of the story is for her and for you guys that I try to drill home to her is that you have to start where you stand. Sometimes you're going to be like me. You're not going to have the best spelling. You're not going to have the best speaking abilities. You're not going to have the best reading abilities. You may not know how to do great closing or you may not know how to write a book or you may not know how to do X. You don't know how to give an offer. You don't know how to go meet a seller. Whatever the story is. And I 100% agree with you. But the very first thing is you got to start where you stand. Because from there, you could only build and go forward. But if you never start because you're trying to dot the I's and cross the T's, which happens to so many of us because of our school system and the way it's trained to make us be perfect, even though we're not perfect, we have all these imperfections, that we never start in our journey for our success. We never start our journey for entrepreneurship. We never start our journey for writing that book. We never start our journey into getting to the gym, okay, because... We don't have the right shoes or we might not have the right workout clothes. It doesn't matter. Just get up there. Whatever you got, dude. If you got dress shoes from church, but you want to go to the gym because you want to lose weight, then get in those shoes and just go, dude. You barefooted? Okay, just go. Because later on, you could improve. Okay? But the situation where my, my, my dear sister told me, hey, you got all these spelling errors. This is embarrassing. You know, she tried to be positive to me, but let me know that, hey, I have all these holes in my game. I have all these holes in my net. And I totally agree with her. I have a lot of holes in my net. And I'm sure you have a lot of holes in your net. But I'm very confident you might have less holes in your net than I do. But it doesn't matter if you have more or less. The point is, whatever lacks and disabilities we have, if we want to chase our dreams, we have to go out there and do it. With the embarrassment, with the misspelled errors, with the grammar errors, we have to start. We have to take action, put it out there. And there's going to be good people out there that are willing to support you, no matter if you don't cross the I's and the T's, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be people out there that are going to help you say, hey, Mike, this is a spelling error right there. They're going to do crowdsourcing and help you with it. There's going to be good people out there say, hey, you know what? I'm a good writer. Do you mind trading the Facebook marketing for an idea? So there's so many options that become when you start where you stand. But if you want to be perfect, you want to dot the I's and dot the T's, A, you'll never start. B, there's so much fear and so much perfection that, again, you'll never start. And then three, once you put it out there, if you have an error and somebody reaches out to you, like if the crowd says, look, you made an error, it might hurt you emotionally be, or whatever. Where if you start where you stand, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Guys, let me repeat this again. It's so important. If you start where you stand, you have nothing to lose and everything to fucking get. It's like playing the lottery knowing that you could only win. There's no losing. You don't have to pay a dollar to buy the lottery. You don't have to pay the 10 bucks. I don't know. I don't pay the lottery. I play the lottery of life of myself. So I'm recommending you do the same thing. But to buy a lottery ticket could cost you some kind of money and the odds of you winning is like zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? Zero. Very low. But to start where you stand, the odds of success 
is astronomical. It's to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the guy that created PayPal is doing rockets to the moon. Elon Musk. So, the point I'm trying to say is, if you start where you stand, no matter your lacks and disabilities, you're able to reach your dreams a lot faster than if you want to become perfect. You want to be a perfect writer or you're embarrassed to get up because you, you, you stutter or you don't speak good or you, know, you can't pronounce words like me. Or you want to go do this, get a better job, but you're scared. Or whatever it is, go do it. I promise you, it's okay if you fail. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's all right, man. But the, on the flip side, the rewards is astronomical. The rewards is you can be all you want to be in America. The reward is you could do what the creator has planted into your soul for you to do. And change your life. Change your family's life. Change your kid's life. Change your neighbor's life. Change people you never met their life. And I highly recommend that you do that. Fuck being perfect. Fuck getting it 100% right. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe in you. Go out there and hustle and bustle. And don't take no for an answer. Don't let anyone, including your own mind, talk you out of your fucking dreams. Again, don't let anyone, including your own mind, talk you out of your fucking dreams. See you later, gang.